Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Deep. I'll see your ex this impressive vet is titled, Rihanna Quits Music. Oh, she finally being honest with y'all? I already knew she quit, whatever. And then Tyler channels Beyonce and Rihanna. Oh, Grammy snub Nicki Minaj making a girl. <laughs> I just reacted to Honest's video about uh, the, the nominations or whatever. So, sure, we're going to hear what, what Impressive has to say about it all. Uh, let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. I want to talk about the Grammy nominations oh, because first? Okay. there's a lot to get into with that. But before I do, I first want to talk about Tyla because Tyla. I just reacted to this music video. It's up on my Patreon right now. I really like this song. A video for her single "Push to Start." I think about it. I do like the song "Push to Start," even though it kind of sounds like another variation of "Water." <laughs> Moving forward, I definitely huh. think she needs to experiment with more so. sounds and kind of move into the pop direction as well. Be I just said something a bit similar, but not about this song. About some of her other songs, I, I feel like can sound a bit repetitive, but I, I feel like this one sounds a bit uh, more unique. I don't think it sounds like water. Because pop music is where it's at, it seems. But I do like the song Push to Start, and I really like the video as well. It was cute, and it was definitely reminiscent of something... Beyonce or Rihanna would have done and I really now see the vision that her team has for her They're trying to push her into this Beyonce Rihanna Shakira and even an Aaliyah mold those are the artists that they hmm. want her to kind of pattern oh. herself after I think okay they're And doing they're much. eager to fill in that <laughs> void that Rihanna is leaving because Rihanna is done with music right now based off of her latest speech I could tell that she's checked out completely and she only cares about selling her products. And I was in music was the thing that got the attention. But God had other plans for me and I I was able to create in ways that it was ways that were like very sincere and genuine or organic and authentic to the things that I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't nobody <laughs> want to hear about that. <laughs> just kidding. I'm happy for Rihanna. She no, you in a much happier place just relaxing i mean she didn't explicitly woman, but say that her leaving the music industry is definitely creating a void so tyla's team is trying to fill that void and also they want her to follow that beyonce lane too now beyonce is still an active artist she's a legend so nobody is going to come for her spot or replace her ever but she's older and what the industry does is they try to look i don't think tyla is a good replacement is honestly of the artists we've seen and i like past. her but for no example We've seen the industry. I don't think she has the same star quality as a Beyonce or Rihanna. And I just, I already gave my, I already said what I had to say on Patreon. All right, I'm not repeating myself. But yeah, if that's their intention, it's for her to replace them or to be like, you know, as big as they were. I just don't, I don't see it for her as far as where we are now. Things could happen obviously in the future and maybe my mind will change, but it's just not giving like that level of stardom in my opinion. Like that's not what I, I, I see in her. Um, and this is not to take away from her talent or, or anything, but I'm not, if she keeps going down this route and doing like what she's doing now, I don't see her becoming a Beyonce or Rihanna. I just don't. Try to opinion. push take McRae as the next Britney Spears. They initially tried to make Ariana Grande become the next Mariah Carey. They initially were trying and to she push a Olivia star. Rodrigo as the next Taylor Swift, but Taylor wasn't having that. <laughs> but there is a pattern. They're always looking for the next superstar. And it's clear that the industry wants Tyla to be the next superstar of color. And they're going to follow that Beyonce, Rihanna, and Aaliyah blueprint. But I don't think, they I do think it's important for her <laughs> to have her own identity and not use their mood boards too often. There's nothing wrong with taking inspiration, but you know, I still want her to have her own identity as well. And she does have her own identity, yeah. but I hope her team doesn't take her off of her path to follow somebody else's path, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. No, I now, I want to move on and talk a little bit about the scammies. Yes, <laughs> so every is. year, the Grammys always I'm has so <laughs> some controversy because when they announce the nomination, there are always artists who are getting snubbed. And this time, there were a lot of artists who were snubbed this year who I felt should have been nominated. Girl. But of course, 
I know how things go in the Grammys. It's a very political game. They have to campaign for it. They have to meet with the Grammy board and establish connections with the people on the voting committee. And in some situations, their labels and their teams have to pay for nominations. Let's talk about it. Mm. And others simply have to have the name and they'll get nominated. If they've been in the Don't industry long enough it. and they paid their and dues. There and are some artists them. who have said they haven't even submitted their music to the Grammys because they don't care. So y'all also got to keep that in mind. Uh, maybe they lying. I don't know. <laughs> but keep that in mind um, when you're saying somebody got snubbed. Because if they aren't even participating and they don't even want no parts of it, then that's not a snub. And they will get nominated. That's how it goes. But for those artists who don't have those things working in their favor, they simply will have a hard time getting recognized. And it is what it is. Now, I do want to congratulate a few artists who got nominated First of all, congratulations to Money Long. She got nominated in three R&B categories, and this is well-deserved. She's been in the industry for over a decade, and she's been making noise, and her album Revenge was good, not to mention her hit Made For Me. Made. I am happy for her because, you know, she seems like she's up and coming doing her thing, and I feel like I heard somewhere that she's been in the industry for a while. Maybe she's, like, worked behind the scenes with artists. I'm not exactly sure, but I hate her song, and I hate that other song. <laughs> You know, hours and hours that she had, but it's, this is no, you know, fault to her because it's just, this is a me thing because I kept hearing these songs. It's like they were forced down my throat, especially hours and hours. Every time I heard that song on like a TikTok or IG, I would want to throw my phone because I just feel like people just overplayed it. It was just a lot. So I think that irritated me. And overall, it just, I don't know. I just didn't really like it. So that's the thing. If a song is good and it's getting shoved down my throat, I'm okay with it. But if I feel like a song isn't even, like it doesn't really move me at all and it's shoved down my throat, that's what pisses me off. <laughs> it makes me hate it. <laughs> if it's good and it's everywhere, I'm just like, all right, cool, whatever. I might be a little tired of it, but, you know, I'll, I'll roll with it. But if it's just like, whatever, and I'm hearing it all the time, I'm just like. A lot of noise, so. She but absolutely still happy deserves to be nominated, and I hope she <laughs> Listen, wins. I'm for everybody black, also, so. congratulations to Beyonce. She walked away with the most nominations Work. this year for her album, Cowboy Carter. She is now the most nominated artist. Oh, he didn't go over all these. Album. Best Americana performer. What the fuck that mean? Oh, she got a lot of noms. Oh, I think he did go over all these, actually. Cowboy Carter. Except the, the she last is one. now the most nominated artist in Grammy Awards history. Yes. She her husband Jay Z's record. So she got a lot of nominations this year. But the question is the Queen. Will she win in those big categories like Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Record of the Year? I will say the competition is pretty stiff. It is. And I do know that the Grammys typically nominate her just to get her to show up every year. But will they actually give her an award in these three categories? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't Excuse foresee me. her walking away empty-handed because she got 11 nominations. So no she way. going home with something. Period. I'm not going to leave in here with something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Also, Kendrick Lamar got several nominations this year, including Record of the Year for Not Like Us, Song of the Year for Not Like Us, he got several nominations in different rap categories. I mean, he basically got nominated for dissing Drake, which is kind of messed up when you think about it. Oh, like, let's move on. Let's Drake stop caring about the Grammys. He, he did it to himself. Let's let's move on. He doesn't even submit his songs to the Grammys. See? So I guess the committee was okay with nominating all of Kendrick's diss songs towards Drake. <laughs> but, you know, Kendrick is a Grammys darling. His label TDE has connections with the committee, so... He's always going to get nominated, and I'm not mad at it. You know, Kendrick held it down for the hip hop community this year, so congrats to him. <laughs> now, I was surprised Excuse to see me. Chris Brown get recognized in some of these Grammy categories too, because I thought the Grammys blackballed him, but <laughs> congrats yeah. to him. Also, congratulations to Lucky Day, because he got recognized in several categories. Love for his for album algorithm and this is well deserved as well his album is definitely one of my favorite albums of the year it was amazing so i do hope he walks away with something also, oh, I, I, saw Coco Jones I saw got a nomination for her song here we go for best r&b performance and since coco already won a grammy the board is familiar with her so 
she's going to continue to get acknowledged in these Good areas, man. which is good. And congratulations to Tim's too. She got nominated a few times. I really enjoyed her album, Born in the oh, Wild. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I thought they snubbed her. Oh, he didn't go over Best African Music Performance, though. He went over Burning, but okay, okay. And I she definitely think she deserves to be acknowledged. I, I hope love she also woman. walks away with at least something. Another surprise to me is Dolce getting nominated. She got nominated oh, she in got four, four different categories, which is a big deal for she her. She got an album. Um, obviously, TDE has some pull, so I think they secured mm. those Grammy noms for her, but she deserves it, so hopefully she gets a chance to win something. I would like her to win an award with Kay Trinata and JT for Best Remix Recording. That would be cool for her and JT to win something. That would be great. But yeah, I mean, congratulations to all the other nominees. I'm not tripping or hating on anybody who got nominated, but we do have but. to talk about the people who were snubbed because the disrespect was a little too loud in this one. Now, I do know some people don't submit their albums, and okay. that's cool. Some people don't care to be acknowledged by the Grammys. However, it's pretty standard for labels to submit songs on their artist's behalf to the Grammys. And I was surprised that several artists were not acknowledged. You know, I think like. Normani should have been acknowledged for her dopamine album. Girl, This no. album is still one of my favorite drops. Of no. I listened to this album and I did like it initially, okay? There are some, some, this has happened a couple times, where I'll listen to something and I'm like, okay, this is cool. Okay, I'm feeling this. This this don't sound bad at all. All right. I'm praising it, but then I'll go back and keep trying to listen to it. And I'm just like, mm, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> you know, like some songs will sound appealing to a certain degree at first listen, but when you replay them, you're just not that interested interested they don't really grip you enough to have you play them over and over again and that's exactly how i felt about normani's album i did not go back to these songs uh much at all after i listened to it the first time i tried to replay it a couple times but i was just like so no she did not get snubbed in my opinion the year and i feel like she was robbed she no, was she got robbed also tinashe she was got all her robbed. things you know, she had a she good definitely year. All her I thought she would have been nominated as well. <laughs> Nobody at least her. for her song Nasty. But yes. you know, Tanache is independent, Except so that. I don't know how much pull she has at these award shows. But yeah, she was snubbed as well. I think Iris Starr was snubbed for her album The Year I Turned 21. I think I Chloe Bailey that. was snubbed. Girl, like all right, now we just nominations. Now we yapping. Album, Trouble in Paradise. Girl. And I have to kind of look at her team a little side. Girl. Because. Chloe is signed to Parkwood, which is Beyonce's management company slash label. I know you She's lying. Also under the I Olivia hated the <laughs> So I think if Beyonce could secure eleven nominations, Ciao. she should have been able to help Chloe secure. Ciao. Chloe has been nominated with Hallie four times in the past, but now she can't get one nomination. That's weird. And Chloe did react to it. The music was way better with Hallie, but she wasn't surprised either. She I shouldn't be. Okay, so I think they announced all my categories. Didn't get nothing this year, but that's all right. The music was still great. Ghost Stream, Chibble in Paradise. Um, yeah. I'll leave her alone because I like her, but... <laughs> the Raven Lene was another artist who did not I receive any nominations. She released an album called Bird's Eye, and I love this album. This album was on repeat for me. I and people also got to... Keep in mind, just because you love it, that don't mean that it was snubbed. <laughs> you are one person. What are we talking about? Like, you got to also keep in mind the impact that, you know, these people had. Chloe had no impact. I'm trying to go back to that because <laughs> no way she said that. This woman, I don't know this lady. So, I mean, that speaks about the impact. But, you know, you have to keep that in mind. All of that, all of that matters. Okay, because obviously they're not pulling no random underground artists from SoundCloud to nominate for Gram for Grammy. So it's not just about how good the song is. There's some really great, you know, underground music and great music that uh, is from artists that don't have a lot of visibility. But they're going based on, you know, popularity, impact, etc., etc. And 
some of these people that's being named, they, they just ain't got that. Love, Love is Blind, Candy, girl, the song she has songs. with Ty Dolla Sign, Dream Girl. Like, everything was just a vibe. I, know she I think some songs, of her songs would have worked well she was in the snubbed, progressive R&B categories. Even? But she was snubbed as well. And she definitely made the deadline. So her not getting nominated never heard just tells me that, you know, they didn't care to acknowledge her. And when an artist doesn't have the investment or the connections or the popularity, they typically will go under the radar. Tyler was snubbed as well, which was a surprise to me. Mm-hmm. And I did hear that her label was trying to submit her songs to the R&B categories, but it did not fit because her music is more Afrobeat, Afrobeat. more Mafiano. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I think her label made a mistake in the categories they selected her to be nominated in. She should have been nominated in the African categories, the global categories. I think she would have had a better shot to actually win another Grammy, but she was completely... And I really love Truth or Dare. I love art, okay? Uh, But no, it's not given Grammy. Of this time, which was surprising to me. Water was given Grammy. Another artist who was surprisingly snubbed was Megan Thee Stallion. This was a surprise to me because Megan actually had a big year this year. She had some hits. She absolutely should have been nominated. She did her thing There's no question about it. But I'm not going to put all the blame on the Grammys this time. I'm looking at her team. Why didn't Rock Nation secure those nominations for Megan? That's what I want to know. Because this is not the first time she was snubbed from an award show this year. In fact, she was snubbed from the BET Hip Hop Awards (laughs) as well. Like, you got to understand, an artist like Megan who has the type of machine she has behind her should not be getting snubbed. She already is a three-time Grammy Award winner. So the committee, the Grammy committee, is oh, familiar with her. She, she has she the connections, the Jay-Z connection, <laughs> Beyonce connection, the Rock Nation connection. She has the funding. So her not getting nominated means to me that she did not submit her music to the Grammys or maybe her team did not secure it for her. But she absolutely she looks so should good. have been nominated. Sheesh. That is a snub. And I wonder if this was intentionally done to create outrage over this because, you know, outrage marketing is a thing. (laughs) So I wonder if her team just didn't do it so her name can kind of be in the headlines over this. I don't know what the reason is, but she was snubbed. Megan was snubbed. And I have a hard time believing that the Grammys would just reject her. So I'm looking at her team. I'm looking at her team. There was something that they didn't do. Now, I do want to talk about Nicki Minaj not getting nominated. And this is no surprise because Nicki is actually blackballed from the Grammys. Grammys This album is not fucking Grammy worthy. Stop it. Stop it with your barb (laughs) mist. That is wild to say. In In the rap category, did you see the heavy hitters that were nominated? She does not belong there. Sorry, not sorry. He's played in her face last year by announcing she won a Grammy for Barbie World, only for them to retract it and give it to Killer Mike. I mean, yeah, they, it was just disrespectful. Games. She's never won an award, and this has been intentional because somebody <laughs> working at the Grammys hates her. Sorry, so her getting snubbed is actually an injustice at this point. But her label did submit songs from her album Pink Friday too, and her album was definitely the best-selling female rap album. It was one of the best-selling rap it's albums of the year, numbers. period. But, of course, she Bars got Bars in these numbers, so y'all, uh. Oh. she knows something. It's nothing with her team. It has more to do with the Grammys. They just don't want to give it to her. But she did announce that she's releasing a deluxe album called The Hiatus when is it coming? on December 13th this oh, year. So not getting that nominated is isn't going to slow Nikki down one bit. She's going to continue to get all the sales, all the streams. The numbers don't lie, folks. The numbers will never lie. Nikki so deluxe. she doesn't need to Hopefully be validated by back. a Grammy. Some people need that validation, but an artist like Nikki Minaj does not. Now, I did see a lot of people were upset that Ariana no, she Grande snubbed was either. snubbed in That's some of the long. major categories. You know, Ariana did receive some nominations in the pop categories, but when it came to album of the year, song of the year, and record of the year, she was snubbed and her fans were not happy about it. They really thought that her song, We Can't Be Friends, should have been acknowledged because it was a number one hit. It was one of the bigger pop hits this year, but I will say this. It's not only about that. The pop categories are very stiff. They're very stiff. And she's going up against a lot of the heavy hitters like Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish. 
Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, you know, Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar even, who had a big year this year. Like, the competition is stiff. And not to mention, even some of the, I guess, newer pop girls, I could say, like Chapel Rome, Sabrina Carpenter, Charlie XEX, you know, they've been around, but they had a breakout year this year. So the competition I'm about to, uh, is check stiff. out Chapel. And this doesn't mean that Ariana can't compete. But Ariana has noticed on my own time on the backseat and has focused more on acting this year. Slowly. So I wonder if this has anything to do. That's what with I did with Charlie too. Now I did not like her music. Big categories, but she did get nominated in some of the pop ones, and a win is a win. Okay, she wasn't completely shut up. And one of the categories she was nominated in is best pop duo. She actually has a nomination with Brandy and Monica for the Boy Is Mine remix. And this is a cool Cute. moment because Brandy and Monica only won one Grammy in their career, and that was for their oh. song The Boy Is Mine. So. I think it would be a cool full circle moment if they got another Grammy together no, with Ariana Grande. I don't think that, that would be amazing. Cool. Ariana and two R&B legends winning together. That would be so great. I would be here for that. Anyway, that wraps it up for the scammies. Are y'all excited about it? <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about this. Not the scammies. They ain't scammed nobody this year, girl. Bye. Especially you brought up Chloe. You lost all credibility <laughs> when you brought Chloe into this conversation. Like, girl, I can see you being delusional with Nikki and trying to work that in. Whatever. That's debatable. But Chloe the Bailey? No shade. Like I said, I like Chloe, but let's not play games. <laughs> let's not do that. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see how this plays out. And I just Googled when uh the grammys is it's in february <laughs> uh so yeah we got some months for that but yeah but we'll see how everything uh pans out y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what the videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all the next time bye